Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Searching. We are given another all through laptop perspective film. This time, that is not a horror, and in particular, is not part of the Unfriended franchise. Instead, we are given a thriller drama starring John Cho about a dad desperately seeking his missing 16-year-old daughter. And this one is pretty freaking good, y'all. I think that Searching was a very, very solid thriller. So, let's go ahead and talk about those positives first. I'm going to start off with our cast because I think they are very strong. John Cho is the lead in this film and he is fantastic. I'm so excited to kind of be getting into this new phase of Cho's career in which he's taking more dramatic, serious roles because he's a really talented actor and I think these suit him very well. He really kept everything so grounded, so real, so authentic throughout the entirety of the film. I also believe Deborah Messing was very strong in here as well. This is some of the best actual acting I've seen from Deborah Messing in some time, so kudos to her. All of our supporting characters and cast were also fantastic. So this really talented cast brought the script and story to life in such a believable way, and such a way that grounded what could have easily become a gimmicky premise. Our director, Anish Shaganti, sorry for pronunciation, also keeps this film grounded. First of all, he not only directed the film, but he also co-wrote the film. And this script is really spectacular. I think the script is tight. It is really concise and really solid across the board. And then he's able to really bring a good directing eye to, again, a film that easily could fall into a gimmick. At my screening, we were fortunate enough to see this little intro from Anish, and I thought his story was very charming, very nice, and gave some insight into his filmmaking style for this feature film. And I think it really shone through in the film itself. He really crafted the film nicely. From a technical standpoint, it was really well done through the majority of the movie, and then from a stylistic standpoint, it was really sleek, really cool. I think the gimmick actually works well in those Unfriended films as well, and it was pretty effective here as well. And the story is really strong. It kept me guessing. It kept me on the edge of my seat. I was fully engrossed in this investigation from the moment we started all the way through to the end. And what the film does so well is emotion. That's what really, I think lifts this film. It hooks us and gets us to emotionally invest in this family right off the bat in the film. And then we care. We care about the plight of this father, of the daughter at hand, of everybody involved because they do such a good job of emotionally establishing this family and these people to begin the film and they keep that at the core of the movie throughout the entirety and makes it a really solid film overall. Now, as for negatives when it comes to searching, I did mention those unfriended films. I have to say, I think this one gets a little bit more inventive in how it uses screens. We get to screens of all different type. However, I do think it falls a little bit short overall to complete conviction to staying with that gimmicky premise of only showing the world through these screen lenses. Since we have to move around and go to all these different settings in this film, at many times the camera work seemed just a bit contrived, whereas I don't really feel that happened with the Unfriended films. So it's natural to just kind of compare because those are the only real ones I have a comparison to that have used this film and storytelling style. And I think this is a better film than either of the Unfriended films, certainly, but eh, it felt like a bit of a stretch to keep us on that screen throughout many parts of the film. And I think, honestly, it may have benefited from pulling out of, of that format a couple of times. I know it then would have been criticized for not having full conviction, but it's a lot harder when you're doing investigation work to, to stay within just a screen view. I also think the third act 
gets a bit weaker than the rest of the film. It gets a lot less grounded. We get a lot more like big investigation, suspense, thriller type of tropes that are introduced in that third act. Some of the graphics get a lot wonkier. We get more news coverage coming in that's like a little bit more questionable. So far as amazing as those first two acts are, the third act is still satisfactory. It is still good. You can see that they definitely had a hard time sticking this landing. But overall, I think that Searching is a really good thriller. I was fully hooked, fully invested, and that says something about a film that keeps you within the space of screens throughout the entirety of the runtime. It's a surprisingly thrilling ride, and even more surprisingly, it keeps you in all of your feels throughout the film. So I think if you like thrillers, then this is a full price ticket. I think it definitely warrants heading out to the theater, and it's good enough that I think you're going to enjoy it enough for that full price ticket. So head out, see Searching when it opens in a theater near you. So that is my review of Searching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Searching? And what are your thoughts overall on keeping a film within screen point view? Let me know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!